I'm white again. God dang it. Hello and welcome back to KGS. We've got another challenge from Bon Scott. I believe this is going to be the, the the deciding game for the match of three. Who is the the more superior player? Or whatever, you want to, whatever you want to say. But I think I think he was black all three times, wasn't he? Because he starts out with the the three three openings, and so we'll see we'll see if he does that again. So. Oh wow! Whoa! Mind blown, it's not a 3-3 this time. Uh, okay, ah, uh, cool. So do I want to encourage him to... Ah, uh, you know what, let's just play 4-4. Four, four. See what direction he chooses. I have a, a kitten in my lap, if you can hear that purring. Up oh, there's the 3-3. Three, three. Aha, okay. So, um, you know, I if in order to develop this side, I, I want to approach from here. Um, and so we'll see if after I take this corner, if he does this. I haven't seen that in a while. Um, just take a regular 4-4, four, four, take a high, go. This is looking to destroy this. This is looking to develop this. Uh, develop, destroy, develop, destroy. Just play mirror the whole time until he breaks it. Uh, no, I don't like 3-3s, three so what do I want to do? Do this, encourage him to come in here, attack, yes, let's do that. Let's do it! Okay, wonderful. So do this. And back. Right, right. Okay, you're choosing that one. Um, this does give me a good extension though. If you'd have done the more closer one, this would be a three space extension for me, which is not that great. Um, anyways, so we got that. So I want to. You responded. That's actually nice. Thank you. I could make a corner enclosure. That seems really slow right now. So I got my checking extension, I got my response. I want to break up your side now. If I approach, if I try to build, if I do anything over here, you're just gonna invade, which is gonna put some pressure on that. I don't like that. Um, I could do this for influence, but this is gonna be really hard to attack this now. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. This low low is hard to develop, so I want to do this. I could also do a splitting thing here. What are you chewing on? Hey, stop chewing on that. Oh, you. Uh, she's chewing on some sort of, I, th I think on my phone charger cable, which is not good. Yes, that's where the game is. Yes, yes. Um, this is just going to break up the side. That's all I'm really trying to do. Make some nice stable groups. It gives him Sente, and so we'll see what he does with it. I've been burned by that before. I need to play a little bit more defensively, make sure my groups are decently secure. The only one that's kind of weak right now is my one on the left. Hi, how's it going? So the, the top is not very interesting. That is kind of interesting because I've already got the extension. Although he is going to be able to invade because he has this stone. Um, I could also attach on top and do this sort of Joseki because I've already got that reinforcement. If he ever cuts, I can Atari and just kill it right away. I won't be able to use the influence that well, but I've already got the extension, so I'm going to do this rather than kick it. Uh, I want to keep it small, low down here, and then I can do my uh, approach over here. Yep. And the really cool thing is I don't have to worry about that because he can't push through and cut because I can push through, cut, Atari down, follow, turn here, dead, right? Right. Poke, cut, Atari, down, turn, turn, dead. Okay, so that's a good extension. This is really low, low, low. Um, I can... Uh, 
it would now be a good time to do this. Let's see if he pushes up and here and here. I'm getting influence again. It's keeping him low, which wouldn't be a bad idea at this point, actually. This, that, I can jump. This, he probably wants to throw in here. But then when I jump, this stone's only got a one space extension. If he ever extends, I can do that. He can then jump out. Uh, let's see, if I go in here, does he take the extension on me? Probably, so I don't want to do that. This is a, a reduction move. And if he extend or if he just jumps here, then I will what? Just pull back. I'm undercut though. Hmm. This one's a little closer. This is a five space extension from there though, which means he probably doesn't want to throw in. If he throws in, it's a little too far. You'd have to throw in here. Armpit hit my move. Just take a two space. He's going to be able to jump up to the fourth line here. Maybe I want to do a capping move first. How and where should I play? This group is going to be hard to attack now. This is fairly decent. I can get this extension, but then he'll just get this extension. Unless he throws in. If he throws in, then I'll jump out, fight a little bit, and then I can attack the corner. I'm hoping... Let's see if I do... This is still the biggest open side. This is where I want to play. Quit looking up here for now. I'm talking to myself. Sorry. Cap. Shoulder hit. Shoulder hit would give me a wall facing this way, and then I can do this. So maybe a shoulder hit wouldn't be a bad idea. Not this one, but this one. Shoulder hit here wouldn't be a bad idea either. Because then I can uh, lean on this and develop this as well. But I think uh, an extension might be easier. Let's see, if he just crawls on the fourth line, then I'm going to have a hard time using the influence. Not the fourth line, third line, sorry. So this one, I'm hoping that he pushes up, because I'll follow. And then if he does the usual reduction drill psyche, then I'll turn. Getting some outside influence to hopefully use with this. Uh, with this, he does have this shoulder hit, shoulder hit thing to get influence. But it's facing my corner, which means I'll just take an extension and get rid of all the influence. Get rid of all the, yeah, influence. So... And so I'm not sure if this is proper direction or not. Let's see, poke, poke, cut. Extend. Follow. Follow. Jump. Ah, there might be an issue here. Poke through, cut. Atari, go here. Here. Okay. Again, the move is really just to do this. This also connects with that. That's interesting. Because I really want to get influence here to attack this some more. And then I can actually use this. I think now would be a good time to do this. Because now that I've got uh, you know kind of an extension here facing this, it might actually be worthwhile. There is still this invasion. And then the throw in, of course. Let's see if he pushes here and then pushes here. I'm surprised, although it makes sense because then if I turn here, then I got the instance and center. That's right. Um, I actually want to turn here, I think, rather than do this. Because this now invites him to go in there. Um, are you sure about that? Because then I can cut and do this, and then these are on the run, aren't they? If I poke here, do this, cut, connect. You have to Atari this, otherwise I'll turn here. Uh, honey, Atari, Atari, dead. Oh, that's just going to die, isn't it? Hmm. What about if I do this first? And you poke, cut, Atari, connect, connect. Oh, I don't have enough liberties. Because you honey, I can Atari and... And then this is just going to die. So if I get a move like this first, then I can. But uh, what if I do this? Because I don't want to. I don't want to abandon these stones. Uh, throw in here. Blump, 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 blump. 
uh, capture and then I can connect. I can throw in here, right? Sacrifice a stone. What else can you do? You can do this. Cut. Wedge. Atari. Atari. Dead. Okay, that's not good. Uh, poke here. Do that. Cut. Extend. And then you have to run. Yeah, let's do that. Empty triangle, but I'm encouraging him to take that on purpose because I want to connect up with this stuff, get a little influence facing my stuff, so that if he does invade here, then I can attack it. Yep. Shoulder hit! That's not on the right side, I don't think. Because this is now kind of floating. This is um this is getting rid of my influence here, but um this is kind of floating. Can I do this? If you turn, I can do this. Um Maybe that is the right side. I take it back. Uh, cut Atari up. Do this. If you cut here, that's fine. Can I jump? This is threatening to do that. Um, can I use that influence for anything then? No, not really. Although it does make this attack a lot better. Slowly surround this. This allows him to turn. I can then uh, honey and honey back. Sure, okay. I think that, yeah, okay, never mind. I take it back. That direction, that's pretty good. Um, now that that's basically settled, this kind of counteracts this influence, and so I give him all these points for nothing on my part. So that's bad play for me. I am going to take an extension all the way to here. To, yeah, so this also secures this base quite a bit. Jump. Without thinking. He of course can connect underneath. Um Huh. What happens if I poke here? And you poke here, I pull back. Poke, poke, cut. What about attaching? Pull in the corner. Uh, probably want to do something like this. Just to surround it. He can attach underneath. So I don't think he's in trouble unless I turn here. Um, so maybe instead of this one, I should really do that. What is that threatening? That's threatening this cut, right? And if I do this, I'm fine. Wedge, Atari, connect. Uh, poke, connect, do that, do that, do that, um, Atari, what if I do this, poke, connect, go here, do this, Atari, up, he's wanting me to make an empty triangle and I don't want to do that, uh, so I'll just do this, I guess. Poke at that, um, what if I be a little cute about it? <laughs> so you cut, what if I do this and you cut? And I do this. Because now you're setting yourself up for this. If you pull back, I poke again, you block, I cut here. And then I can poke through here. Nah, I'm too short of liberties. Wow. Interesting. And then I'm worried about this connection, because then he can start doing some stuff over here and actually make some decent shape. Um, 
pull back, poke again, and then you block, and then I cut, you Atari, I cut again, and then I Atari this, and then if you cut, then I'm relatively okay, right? Poke, 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 cut, Atari. No, because then I can get a squeeze and connect that back out, and then this one's on its own, though. Um, this stone kind of hurts that. Hmm, this is interesting. Um, what happens if I disconnect here? What are you planning to do? Or is it just a free move? You are going to threaten that connection. All right. Um, can you, though? Wedge, Atari, go here, go here. Is that a thing? This looks kind of suspicious, this connection right here. Uh, if I do this, do you what? Because so I can Atari, I connect. I cut, you Atari, I Atari, and do this. And just live here by myself. And then this is now cut off again. It has no eyes. So I let you take that one stone. Atari. Uh, do, 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 do. How do I handle this? Poke. Cut. Atari. Extend. Turn. Honey. Atari. Huh. You have some problems, sir. Cut. Atari. Descend. Oh, well, that's just Atari then. Never mind. Never mind. This, Atari. I don't want to make the empty triangle though. Block here, Atari. Atari, capture, block here. No, I need to do something like this. I need to get this move in. So if I just do that directly. This, what do you do? You do this, that's Atari, and then that's... Atari, do that, capture. How do I handle this? I don't really care about those, do I? Poke up here. If you block I, Atari, Atari, and it's just dead. So you're not going to do that. If I poke up here, you'll probably do this. And then when I cut here, you can come back here. But then when I cut... You Atari, I poke, cut, it doesn't work. This seems bad. How do I deal with it? Or how do I take care of it? Take advantage of it? Uh, cut, Atari. Atari, capture, Atari. Connect, and then block. making an empty triangle which is terrible and this group basically has no eyes there's still a lot of oddity with this this is relatively uninteresting uh, if you just pull back what happens then I Atari and make a net to capture this stone if you Atari here I Atari this, and then poke through and cut. Cut. Atari. Nah. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, what happens if you do this? Well, then I do this. And you do this, and I capture. And then you can cut this stone off, and then this group is going to start struggling. You are going to pull back. Wonderful. Well, then I can Atari up. And what if I Atari here and do this? I don't care about that stone. So then I can, I can capture the stone. Um, I can also poke up here. No, I gotta do this now.
interesting. I was just looking at if he turns here, I can't play this move. Because if I do, uh, then he can poke at this. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Uh, he can poke here. And then when he Atari's this, I... Oh, I can connect. Never mind. I got a, I got a liberty there. I was going to say, I can't connect here because then I... You're going to do that anyways, it looks like. Right. Uh, so then he's going to poke up here, is what he's planning to do. And then I can extend. Uh, poke, or cut, poke. That's what he's planning to do. I can set up a squeeze, not really, because he has one extra liberty. I would need one here, and then it would be a ladder, but that doesn't quite work, does it? So, if I just do this, it forces him to connect. I can also, I can do this then, and he'd have to do this and that. Cut, connect. Don't I just do this? Then he does this, that. This, that. Hane, cut. Atari, extend. I think I'm misreading something. This doesn't look like it should work. What am I misreading? That? What if I just do this? Poke, bloop, double Atari. If I do this first and then that, then it doesn't work. But then he can come over here and kill all of this, right? So I can poke through and cut. Um, if he connects here, then I can do this, right? Because then it's poke, 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 Atari, and then Atari dead. Nope, that doesn't work either. Well then, this is what I get for playing three games in a row. <laughs> Oh, which is why I don't like to play four games in a day. Uh, let's see, if he does connect here. If he doesn't connect here, what, is, what, what would he do if he doesn't connect? I poke through, block, cut. Let's say he does this move instead. Oh, if he does this move, then I'm going to poke, th poke through this way and then poke through, because then I can get a double Atari. And then this is basically connected, because if he cuts here, you're cutting me off, because now this is down to two liberties. Ah! Because on the next move, then you can Atari. That's interesting. Uh, this removes liberty from you, and now you're down to two liberties. These three are down to two three liberties. If you take a liberty off, I... Atari... Oh god. The ladder doesn't work though. So he can actually start the capturing race by just going here and be fine. Uh, because I can't ladder this. If I could ladder this... Yeah. Um... Because there's still this cut, and this stuff is going to be in trouble. Um, this is not even an eye. This... Bump, ba dump ba dump Ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump, ba -dump. Can I honey here? Can I do this? Can I poke through? I can I do this? Poke through, cut. I think he'll let me though, won't he? Yeah, because he's gonna have to do that. These are gonna die. That's not good. Uh, cause if I do this, uh, let's see, he can just honey up. Or, wait, if he cuts, if he cuts, he's dead. He can't cut. Um, so he has to do this, and then I can follow. And again, he has to do this, which means I can then connect, and at least I'm connected out. But that means this is going to die, because he's just going to connect here, and then I'm screwed. So I need to do this first. Yeah, because if I just do this, he can extend up. Um... You can't, you, you can't cut until he gets to here, and then uh, then he can, it looks like. Well, actually, hold on. If he does block here, I won't block this way. I'll block the other way. So you're going to let me connect out and kill that stuff, okay? Which makes sense. 
Atari, connect. No, I'll do this because then I can Atari and even get this. Can I do this? Block, poke, Atari, connect. That's Atari, you have to capture, and then I can capture those two. Oh, that's interesting. Can I do this? Because what you're going to do is you're going to prevent me from doing this, which means I can then Atari this and Atari this, which means you'll have to capture, and then I can cut that off. Oh, interesting. I think it works. <laughs> I've been saying that the whole game. Yes, I realize that. Oh. If you do that, I'm still going to do this, I think. But then you can poke in here, and then it's a snapback. So that doesn't quite work, does it? Um, if I poke here, and you connect, I still can't do that because it's going to die. So I can do... Okay, maybe this doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, because he can he can always connect here or poke through here and it becomes a snapback. So if he pokes through here, I have to connect and it's still a snapback. Interesting, interesting. Uh, if I connect here first, then I can poke through, right? If I connect here first, what does he do? Just capture and then he's fine. If I take this liberty first... Ooh, I could get a double Atari on that. I like that. Let's do this. Let's ignore this for now. Uh, this is not going to work. I misread that. Or I, I didn't see him just coming in here. I was hoping he would block or something. I don't know. Uh, for this one, just extend. And if you do something around here, then I'm going to Atari and Atari and Atari. And this is now double Atari, and I'll capture one of the two. That's my plan with this stone. So to save it, just extend, I believe, is the right move. And then once you do that, I need to, interesting. Now what's your plan? If you cut my Atari and this whole thing happens again, because I have enough liberties. I've got two liberties actually. Just barely enough. Now if you connect here, well, it's the same thing. All right, so you're going to cut. Cool. Do you see the problem yet? This is going to die if you don't. Or this is going to be an Atari, so I'm going to I'm going to get these two. You can do this and force me to capture. Ah, uh, yes, you do see the problem. Okay, good. Good, good. You can uh, cut here, though, I guess, too, as well. And force me to do stuff and connect and potentially connect the stuff out. And then there isn't any problems up here. This is still a liability. There's a lot of Aji. Like, I, yeah. Good, good. Correct move. See, if I do this and you poke... Uh, if you yeah, if you just capture, then I can Atari this, and it's gonna die. So you don't want to do that. If I do this, you're gonna poke through here, which is putting me in Atari, and so I need to do something with it. Um. So yeah, this is dead, unfortunately. Uh, if I do this, now this works. So I can do this in Sente. You can, of course. Actually, no. If you if you pull this out, wait, 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 wait. wait. If you pull this out after I do this, then this is just dead, right? Yeah, so I can get this move for free. Yeah, okay, I can do this. I can do this first. If he pulls this out, then I can capture these five stones. If he cuts this off, then I uh, pull this out in a target. Same thing, he can't save these then. So he needs to, um, yeah, that works. And now he can cut this off. Um, I can't poke through here now. This is all connected. So that is the correct move. Um, and so I really need to do something about this. Uh, connecting or capturing would be the simplest. What about this? I'll just capture. I'll capture. It's fine. It 
So now you can cut this stuff off, you can cut that stone off. This is basically dead. And I'm going to be left with no territory again. This 3-3 three, three screws me over every time. I got I to gotta figure out how to deal with that. I really do. Better approaches than just the 4-4. Four, four. I know there's the, the large, large knight, small knight. One of the knight moves. Yeah, capturing, make a bamboo joint. Probably the best way. Okay, so you're making shape in the corner. I am going to... And then that sets up the clamp, of course. I'm going to attack the stone. You're making shape in the corner, but I still can uh, do this and even do this, right? Can I just do this? Tricky. You're very, very tricky, squirmy. Yeah, so if I do anything else around this corner, you can just clamp and then uh, get an eye that way. Now that I have some support here, can I do this? Like I can poke here and then jump out some more. Uh, my vision's not going good. Yeah, this sets up uh, an elephant's eye, so he'll poke right through that. This? What does he do? I don't know. What do you do? If you attach on top, I'll just pull back. If you push down here, I'm going to do that. If you then do that, I'm still going to do this. Um, if you poke from this side, I will poke here. Then Hane, I will Atari and connect. Hmm. Poking through here. This doesn't work, of course. Connecting here. Poke, block, cut. Cut. Atari, cut, capture, connect. That's going to be a problem if he cuts there. If he cuts there, I have to do this. And then he can Atari here. I can poke here. But then he's on the outside. But he is on the run if I connect here. And that also helps attack this, kind of. If I connect this way, poke, poke, cut. Um, Atari, and do this. No, because he can just cut the other way. Cut, Atari, extend, cut, Atari, capture, Atari, fill. And then I have all this outside influence. This is all destroyed. Did I read that right? Poke. What if he cuts the other way? Cut, Atari, cut, capture, Atari, Atari. I say Atari not a lot. I realize that. This actually helps you utilize this outside influence. I'm going to do this way. I can do this. He eventually can cut this, but I can set up a squeeze. Because he can cut. I can Atari. Capture. Atari. That's the goal, anyway. If he does this one, I'll do this Atari instead. He needs to cut here. So, anyways, the whole point of this was just to destroy the rest of this territory. He's not really getting any eyes. He's getting some shape up here, though. And this gives me a little outside influence with this, so that I can shoulder hit lean on this and maybe make a few points in this area. This clamp is still a problem, but it is what it is. Again, simplest, just cut. Just cut here. I'll force you to do all this in Sente.
Yeah, simple, right? So, now what? Uh, cutting... Cutting here is a problem. Actually, I'll just connect. Then he extends. Uh, uh. Yeah, so this cut is kind of a problem. I do need to respond. Fahane, there's a problem, right? Tari, cut, cut, connect, capture, descend. You should have no problems living in the corner, though. What is that doing? That is poking at this. Uh, if I do this, he can poke through and cut. If I cut, then he's just going to connect. And this is why that stone needs to be there, because this is a key point for attacking this. I see that now. Uh, if I do this, what happens? Does he descend? He probably descends. Uh, if I poke here and he pokes through and does this, then I do this. If he goes here, I can poke at this. I think I do this, right? Uh, he probably doesn't want to do this immediately though. Poke through and cut. If he pulls back first and then pokes through, there's this cut and that Atari. And these three stones are going to die. Oh dear. Um, so I need to go on the offensive a little bit then. Um, I need to make sure that these are not going to be in trouble. How do I do that? By attacking this stuff, right? Uh, again, the move is here and then I can poke at this. But then that's a solid wall. Hmm. I don't know. Do not know. And then that would be a capturing race between these two. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because if he ever gets in any sort of danger. If I ever extend here, he just takes this. If I do that, then he can get out. Hmm. How do I deal with that? Just pull here, poke, poke, cut, do this. Uh, turn, go here, do that, do this. This, he pulls down. I... Why am I committed to this stone? Why am I committed to these three stones? That's a good question. What happens if these die? Can I use them as Aji instead? This will still make a fairly large corner. I can always descend. I can always descend here and get some stuff here. Um, yep. Okay. Now you're going to push through and cut. You are, you are. So do I want to let you just do that or do I want to cut? If I cut, you do this, I do that. Um, if you pull back, I can do this. Cut because then I can do this Atari. So you can't just pull back, that's not gonna be good enough. Cause I can do this. And if you cut here, I can Atari this. If you come up, then I'll do this. Actually, hmm. Ah, that's a that's a clever move. Because if I do this, now that becomes Atari. Ah, uh -huh. interesting. So if I do this, now what? You connect. That's Atari. That's Atari. That's Atari. Uh, da -da -da -da. And then you're connected. But then I can get this Atari and this Atari and save it. Right? So if I do this, you need to Atari that and you're done. Okay, that's not good. Um, what about this? 
You still Atari that and I'm dead. So Atari fix. I need to extend. You can Atari this way and I can extend. If you connect here, I can poke at this. I need to Atari this, which puts my group in Atari. And when I capture this, then you capture and I connect underneath. Okay, that's not good. I need to save a liberty, and so I need to do this first. And if you extend, then I can do all sorts of shenanigans. Yeah, so if I do anything else with here, I lose liberties, and then this thing dies. I need to do this first. Which will allow me to get this cut and Atari, and it'll die. That's the goal. Killing these three stones. So that this doesn't die. <laughs> okay, so you're going to extend that. Great. Which means that now I can do this and get a double Atari in. Or even do this. And it's dead, right? Because if you extend here, then I can uh, push and die. Right? That's how that works. I think that's... Yeah, right? If you do this, that's Atari. And it's just dead. If you connect, that's Atari. If you go here, I push. And that's Atari and dead. So I captured those three stones. Yay! Still far behind, but... I mean, uh, ba basically, you can you can take your Sentai from this. You can, like, poke at this, force me to capture. And Atari, and capture, and then it's all sealed in. I was surprised, actually. Was there, could have, was there anything else you could have done? Um, so if you didn't save this, and you instead made a bamboo joint. Okay, so you are going to force me to capture. Right? Yeah. And now this peep is a nice peep because this has all four of its liberties. Plus, I can get this Atari. I can get this Atari for free. I can now poke through here. I can actually do this now because then... Hmm. What do I want to do? Poke through, cut, poke through, cut. Looks good. Is this cut a problem? Well, these three stones, depending on your response here, I might actually be able to pull off this invasion then with the lower one and then uh, cut. All right. Okay, so you're going to pull back. That's interesting. Does this still work? This threatens to link up underneath so that the block is there. And then I can pull here. Uh, this cut. X. Uh, da, 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 da. Atari, Atari, and then this is running in the middle of its influence. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I don't. I didn't fully read it out, but we'll see what happens. If he just turns here, then I can connect underneath here. Ah, you're blocking that way. Interesting. Uh, because now he can uh, go underneath, right? But then I have the potential of killing this stuff. You're going to cut that way. This is a free move. And you're ignoring it. Cool. Well, what if I wedge here? Do you Atari and capture? And then I can cut this off. Or do you tire the other way? You're tiring that way. Cool. Um, I've kind of had a feeling you'd do that. So I can poke at this. If I cut here, what happens? There's Atari, a ladder, Atari, Atari. Uh, this is now Atari in that, so that would not be good. And you can't line it the other way. I can cut here. Because uh, the other ladder just goes straight into this. This ladder immediately ends because of this. Of this stone. So probably the best thing for him to do is just Atari this way. Force me to connect out. Or extend. And even do it again, possibly. Although I... Yeah, I would probably respond again. So he can get a few of these points. However, 
there's still the matter of this. There's also this stone I can uh, kill. Uh, let's see this, and then just jump here, and then it looks like it's dead. Yeah, so if I just jump here, the stone's dead. In order for this thing to work, I need to get this liberty off. If I hunt, yeah, I need to get this liberty off. So I can do this in Sente. If he doesn't respond, I can descend, and I think I can kill them all. If he, because if he does this, then I can do this. And then I have two liberties to his two liberties, and this would just be Atari and Atari dead. So I can connect here in Sente. Uh, can I do this one? If he honeys, if he turns back, if he turns back, I can do this. And then he can cut Atari, capture. You sure about that one? Because if I just do this and you cut, I do this. And then you cut and that dies. Ah, that's interesting. That is interesting. Because you cut, I can't do this. I can do this then, but then you can do that and then I can connect up and then this is all connected with that and that's fine then. Um, what else can I do? If I just connect directly, you Atari, and then you what, Atari again? It's the same problem, because if you try laddering it this way, ladder up, and then it's a loose net and I can capture something, right? Right? Did I, did I read that right? Correctly? Uh, Atari up. Atari, that'd be self Atari. You can't do that, right? So Atari. Atari, and you're still going to run into that ladder problem. Or that ladder break problem. Surprisingly, that stone's going to be hard to kill, though. Uh, if he does something like uh, atari this, he can easily connect up with it again. So that stone can be pretty useful to destroy whatever potential I had in here for points. But looking at points, uh, this is going to be what's going to win the game right here. I don't have anything to compare to that. He's got a few here, of course. Um, a pretty small corner, but then he's got this giant territory. I've got a few on the side here. A fairly large corner, but it's undercut by this stone. And then this is kind of small. Uh, because he can use the Hani here. And he's also got access from this side. Um, I think I'm going to try to get this as soon as I can, though. So if I can kill this, this is like 15 points. Or eh, maybe not that much. You got six for this, plus the the four here, versus how much he can get. Eh, you know, maybe it was about 15, I don't know. But we're getting to the end game. Uh, this clamp is going to be a big thing to resolve pretty quickly as well. Um, if I honey, and then he clamps. No, I'd have to pull back first, and then it becomes a sente play for me. So I can pull this back for Sente play, but we're still resolving this fight, I guess. I guess I should wait. <sighs> Planning out the end game while you're giving me the time. That's that's nice. Uh, I want to get this because this is Sente against this. So I'll probably take this one first because it's Sente. And then I'm going to... Because there isn't a whole lot of points in here. The big points are on the side. I want to pull this back so I can get that in Sente. This is a Sente play. A monkey jump. That's your play. Interesting. So, uh, I guess we're going to endgame then. I was hoping you'd do something about this stone. I mean, if I do this and you pull that, it's going to be hard for me to do anything with it. Um, if it ever gets a danger, like if you do this, poke, tari, pull back. So if I ignore it here and you poke through, I'm, I think I'm okay. Uh, this is Sente against that, so I'm going to do that right now. Because I will pull this down. Does that solve the problem? And he connects, I can descend. I've got one, two, three, four liberties. If you do this, I still have three. Um, you've got this little U-shape thing. I'd play here. And then what? You, you Hane, I can do this. You can't do that because be self Atari. You could do this, which prevents me from... No, I can... Huh. So we'll see what he does. Um, I'm thinking he's going to do this. Although it may not be big enough now. Blump, ba dump dump ba dump ba dump dump Okay, uh, now if I descend here, he does this. I assume he's going to do that. 
If I do this, there's just this cut. If I descend here, let's see if I read this correctly. I can play here, right? Because then if he honeys, I can do this. And is that self Atari? No. But then I can get some sort of snapback and he needs to. That becomes Atari. No, it's not Atari. What am I talking about? He can't do this. He'd have to capture and then. Is this the move? Uh, looks like he can play here and then I can pull back. And then he can get this move. I can descend. He can Atari. I can Atari capture. Looks like I might not have read this correctly. What happens if he descends? And then I play here. He does this. I do that. Right. Um, but this is now Atari. And then you can get that. That's not Atari though. Descend. You can never Atari from this side. You'd have to Atari from the other side. Um, if I, let's see, if I do this, you can connect. If I do this, what happens? You can pull back and then I can play this move. Cool. So that turned out to be okay. Um, the interesting thing is that this only has one eye. Like if I throw in here, it only has one eye. Actually, no, he can capture that, can't he? Okay. Um, so now we got this play, we've got this sort of play. I think this one might be, well, let's take the Sente play first. This monkey jump ever becomes a thing, I would, uh, after blocking it, I would throw in first. Just to make sure that this isn't an eye. And, well, no, because he, uh, I keep forgetting. He can, he has a second eye here, it's not a big deal. Interesting. Um... If you cut I Atari, if you then Atari this. Okay. You still owe me a move. When I connect, you owe me a move. Okay, so now that becomes that. I'll do this one now. This sets up a Sente play for that corner. There is that, correct. Uh, this saves a point, or saves two actually. Uh, plus the sente play here, so I'm gonna do. Can I do this? This, that, this, that. I think I can do this. Because if you, you know, Atari's this and does the ladder thing, the ladder thing still doesn't work because this is gonna be an Atari. What is that? Oh, because then you can do this. Ah, that's interesting. But if I do this and just connect. That's interesting. Um, if I go here first, you can just Atari this, right? Interesting. Now I can, of course, do that and get around it. Forcing capture. Forcing that. Um, what is that doing? Block, poke, that. Do I want to save this? Do I want to cut? I want to cut. See if he responds to this. I don't care about those two stones. You want to give me these two? I'd be really happy about that. It is kind of small though, but you know, it's free. It is kind of a threat, but I think uh, maybe the Sente play is probably bigger. Uh, I want to cut here though. He's gonna have to run to this, which will destroy the rest of the points in the middle. But and then I, I, after running here, I can actually cut here and capture this stone as well. So, and if he just outright captures this, then I will uh, just connect. But this again, this is just really setting up this um, Atari here, so that I can capture all of this and or cut it off at least. Let's see if you extend here, then I'm gonna do this move. Hane, Atari, capture, extend, Atari. I think you will be able to extend this, because then I have to do something like this. So if I pull this, you can do this. I can uh, cut, force capture, but then I'm already in Atari. I can cut here, you can capture, and then I have to fix. And then I think you might be able to get two eyes then. Oh. 
Um. Can I do this? You should, you know, you should be able to do this, but then I can throw in here. This, again, this is still going to be the, the major part of the pointer here of his. All right, so you are doing that. I can just simply capture. If I extend, you can do that, and I can get an extra point, I guess. Or if I just capture, because I don't really care about the points. You can Atari that, and I'll ignore it. I'll just capture. Just capturing is fine. Um... You know, if I go here, oh, that'd be Atari, you'd have to do this, Never mind. I was gonna say, if I go here, and then do this, and then capture, and then go here, and then do that and capture, I might be able to get rid of the eye, but no. He would uh, most definitely have to capture. I can do this to force that, and eventually, yeah. So, uh, Sente is yours again, probably biggest move is here. Um, or not. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, reverse sente play for me. Uh, I can turn here and force this issue. This forces the cut, but this makes him uh, connect here. Which is great. Um, I could also pull this out. There might be there might be some points here now, but eh, it's not very clear how they're going to turn out. So I'm going to ignore that for now. Uh, again, this is a reverse sente play. Yeah, because he can come in from either side. This is not really a good good a uh, good place to play. This might be a decent play though. Uh, if he cuts here, I can of course get that, and then it becomes a sente play. So this is also a reverse sente. He has this move sente, of course, and then. I don't believe there's going to be a co. If, there, if I thought there would be a co, I'd just connect. But... And you're in Buyomi now, finally. Hooray. That's a threat against this cut. And this cut. If you cut, I Atari, and then I Hana here, and then I'm connected here. Uh, is this cut a problem now? Cut, Atari, up. Uh, go here, poke. I might lose these two stones to make sure that this is connected. Interesting. Um, let's see, if I do this and you cut here, and I go here... So what, what is that a play against, exactly? If you poke through here, if you pull back, I connect, and then I poke, poke... Oh, well, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Let's see, if I do this, and you pull back, I connect, you have to poke, I can go here. That's Atari. Um, what about this? Poke, boom, poke, connect. That seems like the move I have to do. Any, anything else I play, he's going to pull back there. And so this is like the the, the one two three analysis. Anywhere I play, he plays there. I need to play there myself, and I think it'll work. Because if he goes here, I can do this. He can poke through, and I can Atari. And again, I'm gonna lose these two stones, but everything will be connected then, which is the way it's got to be, I guess. What else we got? If he just does this, then I'm gonna do this because that's this. Yep. And I can't save this, so I have to Atari this, forcing him to capture. Wonderful. Yay! And then I can save this stone if I want. Um, boom, boom. This is actually a Sente play against that. That's nice. If he doesn't, then I can poke through here and uh, cut off this whole group. Not that I think I can kill this, but... Ah, uh, that was a dumb move. I shouldn't have done that. That was a waste of a move. I should have done something about this. Ah, but you are going to... Okay, and then if I get this, that, could I do anything about this? Poke in here, block, you've got these as liberties left. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. So, uh, since you didn't do that, um, go back to addressing this. No, I can't get rid of the eye. What am I trying to do? I can throw in here, 
And then there's the eye. I can do this. Um, I am gonna do this. Total bluff play, not actually doing anything as far as points. He should just ignore this and, you know, come capture this. There's a fly on my screen. Oh, but he's gonna go for it. Okay, well, whatever. He responded, so. Um, this is a point. This is probably a bigger point, I think. If he comes up here, I'll throw in and force that just to get rid of the eye. Not that I really think I can kill this group, but, you know. That, again, isn't really getting me anything for that. Um, does this cutting off help? No, this probably saves some points. Also gives me the potential of getting this point, which he pokes at immediately. I mean, there's this little co thing up here, but that's not really anything. Uh, yeah, but that wasn't going to be points anyways. Uh, yeah, that's kind of important, I guess. Again, there isn't really going to be any points around here, but... This is actual points, though, right here. I guess this co has some points as well. This is this. This is worth a point. Could I have gotten a point from playing there? If he plays there, I just do this, right? Oh, whatever. Uh, this is Gote, but it's a point. That is nothing. This is something. I mean, you know, this is this already is alive like that. That is that anything? I don't think that's anything. This forces you to capture that, which is nice. Um. So that forces you to capture. Wonderful. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I do anything with that? I don't believe so. This can force an Atari and then I can uh, get, you know, again, force him to fill that. But this is alive, so it's nothing. That's just a throwaway stone again. Uh, looks like it's just dumb, eh? At this point. Uh, there's, you know, this little coal thingy, I guess. But this is, you know, can be a coal, I guess. Huh. And you can't connect here to save the coin. He actually has to do this one. Points wise, um, you know, looking back on it, uh, aside from the captures, of course, he's really only got a few up here and then this whole bottom side. Um, that's not actually Atari on this yet, so I can actually do this now. Now it's Atari, but that's like giving me a free point, I think. I think you actually gave me a point there. I think, I think, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to connect this eventually. Is there any, is there any more points though? I'm gonna have to connect there eventually, so I'll just do it now. I think that's it. I believe that's it. So he's got, you know, three here plus whatever captures and junk. So that throw on capture didn't actually do anything. That is nothing. Unless you want to do some Dame stuff, but I think that we're done. Can I kill this? I don't believe I can kill this. If I just play here, he plays here. If I play there, he plays there. What is that? Yeah, I believe you are hid. But we will see. Yeah, quite a bit. Quite a bit. This is way too big. So, thank you for the game, Bonds Cut. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.